Bang & Olufsen H6 is a luxurious company's foray into portable audio. The H6 is very similar in this regard to the Bowers & Wilkins P7 with both of them being stylish, well-built and wonderful sounding headphones directed at the more mature or upper class individual who don't really fancy the juvenile craze for some of the more popular headphones out there. The box instantly gives a premium vibe with the H6 being cleanly printed with the corresponding color and design that you've chosen. Within the packaging, you are greeted with the H6 beautifully nestled in the foam cutout inserts. I really like this type of packaging setup as it allows the box to remain a great method of storage when at home. Moving to the other side, you have the 3.5mm auxiliary cable with the standard microphone and iOS remote. The cable is about 48 inches, typical of the standard portability length, and is fairly average in build quality. Lastly, you get a cloth bag which provides minimum protection against scratches and maybe some light drops, and surprisingly no documentation, which I find very economical since no one really ever reads it. The H6 is a beautiful and exquisite looking headphone. I highly fancy this specific color scheme and feel that these are just about a work of art to look at and are as spectacularly designed as the Bowles and Wilkins P7. The ear pads are real leather and are quite soft and supple. The cups rotate downwards to fold flat and the ear pads offer a large enough diameter to accommodate the entire ear inside with no discomfort. A neat feature also found in other headphones like the Beats Pro is a dual entry cable system which allows the ability to daisy chain another headphone or simply have the choice of having the cable on your left or right side. I personally don't care much for this but it doesn't hurt to include it and satisfy those who do. Headband adjustment is smooth with no creaking or rough transitions, just pure workmanship at play here. The cushion is very substantial and contours to the head marvelously, resulting in a superb level of comfort overall thanks to the light design, which is just absolutely beautiful. The H6 is a very refined and neutral sounding headphone. As if the aesthetics alone didn't tell you these are meant for a more mature audience who can appreciate the finer, more luxurious things, the sound also reflects the gold bang in the low and set after. The imaging and soundstage of the H6 is possibly the most defined that I've heard from a portable headphone thanks to the angle drivers and the sheer resolution of the sound. The bass response is tight and extended but very tame and neutral in composure. These are not going to please those looking for an inaccurate boosted level of bass because the presentation and simply the overall sound signature of the H6 is like fine wine and not a bottle of soda. The level of articulation and texture rendition capability is among my top portables and sounds great with all genres. Most importantly, the integration is very seamless, introducing no thick transients into the mid-range. Vocals are very distinct and well proportioned and the feeling of someone singing towards you is quite easily discerned. The mid-range characteristic of the H6 is quite neutral or laid back which helps the soundstage by creating the illusion that the core instruments and the human voice is further away from you. This isn't overly done as in to create a sensation of a missing lower mid-range that leaves vocals sounding dry and harsh. The mid-range still has that organic reproduction that exudes detail beautifully. The treble here is much defined and maybe a tad too much for portable use. So let me break this down more in detail so you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. So when I'm home, the H6's sonic balance works marvelously and showcases a reference level sound signature within a portable headphone you just don't come across very often. However, once you step outside into the various environmental noises, the bass and lower mid-range portion loses a bit of its intensity and the treble area seems more prominent. I still enjoy them when outside, but they sound a bit too clinical and sterile as a result of the shift in perceived bass response. Soundstage, like stated before, is either the best or the, among the best that I've heard from a portable headphone. The directional cues are well articulated and the isolated allowing each instrument to breathe freely, also as a result of the neutral bass allowing the foundation of the music to not overwhelm the harmonic details. In summary, this is as well as my Bowers & Wilkins P7 and Sennheiser Momentum and pretty much are examples of a beautiful, sophisticated design that goes even further acoustically. Thanks for watching my video review of the Bang & Olufsen H6. Later.